the point where I actually knew that I made it was um, the first day that I went to Dre's house and we recorded three songs in, in like less than six hours. And it was like every everything that uh, that he had a, had made a track to, every beat that he made, I had a rhyme to either go with it or sat down and wrote one right there. Yeah. And um, went in the studio and just just spit as best as I could, you know, and tried to, I was really like out to impress him, to show him what I could do. And when I saw Dre nodding, nodding his head and laughing <laughs> at some of the things that I was saying and whatnot, I was like, I'm in. Yeah. I made it. That's that's finally when I, you know, realized yeah. this is my big break. When I my real my really big break, to tell you the truth, was when I found out that I had got a buzz clip on MTV and didn't know what I didn't even know what a buzz clip was, mm. you know. And uh, my manager Paul, he he was like, came up to me and he stuck his hand out. He was like, Yo, we got a buzz clip, and I'm like, It's a buzz clip. <laughs> it's a hair cutter song. Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, and, and just the look in his eyes, he was so wide-eyed about saying it and everything. And I was like, <laughs> what's a buzz clip? And he told me what a buzz clip was. And I was like, wow. I sat down on the couch and I was like, like it was, it, <laughs> like I was like, wow, I'm actually doing it. When I first came out, I, I, I rarely read an interview where it wasn't talking about, he's he, he, either something to do with, with, with me being white or something to do with me the lyrical content and nobody ever really said this kid has got talent this kid is you know what i'm saying he's he's able to put words together in a you know in an in an incredible way whatever i never heard anything like you know really positive about you know this kid can rap it was always something dealing with my the lyrical content or dealing with me being white you know and i was kind of like you know what the fuck this is you know this is bullshit to me because you know I felt like I was being overlooked as far as like having any talent or anything. I felt like my talent was like secondary and everybody wanted to keep talking about my lyrics, you know? So, you know, I, I, I say things, I think uh, a lot of times I, I say things just to get a rise out of critics and just to get a rise out of people and, and to make them... Annoy you know, the world. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because I want to, you know, I want to I wanna leave an impression. I want to, when people, ha you know, if, if, if there's a song on in the background, I want people, I want to grab people's attention. Like if my song is playing in the background and, and somebody's having a conversation, I want them to stop and go, what the fuck did he just say? Yo, turn the radio up. I, you know what I'm saying? I already, I already stand out. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily a, a, a normal person, I feel like. You know? So I, I, I wanted to, to stand out and I wanted to grab people's attention.